Hey guys, Tyler here, and today I'll be talking about the Criterion set for the Godzilla movies. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. So, without further hesitation, let's take a look at what the set looks like. So, here we have the set, and of course, it is humongous. Like, this video does not do it justice. Like, when you receive the packaging for like the set from Amazon.com or any sort of major site, I'm telling you guys, like this set is like really huge. As a matter of fact, I posted a picture on my social media accounts on, of course, uh, Twitter and Facebook, and practically like the whole entire set almost covered my entire face. It is that huge. Well, of course, when you open up the set, you have like a lot of stuff inside. Of course, you have, of course, like, uh, Godzilla just, of course, attacking Tokyo. And some really, really nice, uh, detail. When you also flip the page, you get a large, like, freaking essay by Steve Rifle, one of the commentators for Godzilla. And, of course, a long list of the movies that's in the set. And when you flip the page, you have a lot of synopsis. You have a synopsis of the first movie. You have the synopsis for Godzilla Raise Again. You also have a synopsis for King Kong vs. Godzilla. And the rest of the movies in the franchise. And it goes on for quite a while. And a while. And so basically, you get like a lot of history, a lot of information of the various movies that are included within the set. And on the back, of course, you have the uh, credits for the various people behind it. And when you open this part up, it is like, it was really, really crazy. Like, hold on one second, guys. So in the back here, you have a lot of the discs for the movies. This one contains the first Godzilla movie, as well as uh, King of the Monster Cut. You also get the second disc, which has King Kong vs. Godzilla, the American Cut, and Godzilla vs. Again. Disc 5 has uh, All Monsters Attack, Godzilla vs. Hedora. Disc 6 contains Godzilla vs. Guy Again, and Godzilla vs. Megalon. And right here, you have, of course, the rest of the movies. Disc 7 includes Godzilla vs. Megazilla. Godzilla, let's <laughs> see, the Terror Mega Godzilla. And this A contains the Japanese cut of King Kong vs. Godzilla. And a lot of the bonus features. And on the back, we also have the rest of the movies. We have uh, Monster vs. Godzilla, Invasion of the Astro Monsters, Ghidorah, the Street of the Monsters. This 4 contains Ibra Haru the Deep, Son of Godzilla, and Destroy All Monsters. And finally, when you flip it to the back, Again, a listing of the special features and the listing of the various kaiju movies in the franchise that is in the set. Now let's talk about the positives and the negatives of the set. Practically for the first time ever, all 15 Godzilla movies from the Sora era are presented in the set, to my knowledge. Like, prior to the set, like, basically various companies, like, uh, Classic Media, as well as Sony Pictures, had the various rights to the movies, but there was, like, no set that had the first 15 movies. So if you're a fan of the first 15 Godzilla movies, this set has all the movies. It features the Japanese cuts of the movies, as well as some English dubs. As far as the picture quality is concerned, again, I am not an expert about picture quality. However, they look pretty good to me. The first two movies, Godzilla and Godzilla Rays Again, are presented in 4x3, while the rest of the movies are presented in widescreen. And to me at least, the original Godzilla in particular looks absolutely fantastic. And of course, the rest of the movies look good too. So as far as the picture quality is concerned, it is really passable and really great. As far as the bonus features for the set, they're pretty much fantastic. You get all the trailers for the movies, as well as some various interviews of the filmmakers. You also get some sort of audio commentary for the first movie. And you also get like some various like montages of the special effects that were not used in the various Toho movies. And the Japanese cut of King Kong vs. Godzilla for the first time ever. And so practically the bonus features are fantastic if you're a fan of the Japanese kaiju genre. 
As far as some negatives are concerned, like there are some English dubs that are missing from the set. Like for example, the dubs that are missing in the set are Godzilla vs. Again, as well as Godzilla vs. Mastra. The dub for Ghidorah Destroyed and Monster is missing. There was also a missing dub for uh, Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster and Godzilla vs. Hedorah. So if you're a fan of like those English dubs, unfortunately it's not included for the sets. So if you're a collector like me, the best way to get those English dubs for those missing movies are like the classic media sets and the Sony sets. But overall, I would recommend these sets for you guys. It's a really good like set. And you get all the movies for the first time ever in Blu-ray in North America. So what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And I'll talk to you guys later. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.